Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toastin. Today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius video. And today we're going to cover the news that got released in-game. And right here you guys can see that Xenogears, the part 2 of the event, is uh, going to be out. And you guys will be able to fight id. Just id. Maybe we're going to call them id, which is going to be a little bit literally a little bit easier now here's what the kupo has to say about the battle so uh here's some info for you kupo id will rapidly use single target attacks incorporate a unit that can attract his attacks and prepare against status effect damage reduction and stop kupo also its attack and magic increase every turn up to the 10th turn of battle kupo as time passes it's parameters get stronger so you better defeat this enemy fast kupo so uh i'm pretty sure he's gonna be weak to lightning because uh you know what they don't they don't say anything in game so uh we're gonna go with the info that they're giving us but he's a machine so technically lightning should do a little bit extra damage and also you guys can bring your machine killers so if you have those tm from edgar slap them on your physical attacker and uh, if you have Esther with her lightning uh, sword, well, you're going to be able to do even more damage. Or even if you have Ultima weapon and you just imbue it with uh, lightning, you're going to be able to probably kill it. it uh, kill this guy in maybe two turns. I'm pretty sure people out there are going to kill him in one turn. So, completion rewards. Uh, they're really good for people who are actually starting the game. So, complete the, uh, complete the quest, you get a Warblade. It's a Katana. Uh, attack 106, which is really nice. Evoke two espers. An esper two times or more, sorry. Uh, deuce raid coins, you get 10,000 of those. No limit burst, you get two rare seven tickets, which pretty doable. And uh, defeat ID's party within 10 turns, you get a five star Moogle, which is really, really good. 5% Moogle, sorry, not a five star Moogle. Uh, all right, let's see, how, let's see how fast we can beat ID. Then, uh, the Tower Zot, so a Final Fantasy IV. Uh, event is making a comeback and with that you guys are going to be able to get a five star select seven ticket and also gold bez strikes back and no this is not the old school gold bez this is the new school gold bez so this guy is basically a five star going into a seven star <coughs> sorry about that and uh, basically this guy not so bad he's able to chain with himself uh but everything might change all right so from jp to global we don't know, I'm not going to say his stats, but things might change. Uh, he's able to cover, I think it's fire, wind, earth, water, and dark. So he's, he's able to cover five elements. Uh, he has strong magic, but uh, lately we've had some magic, strong damage dealers in the game. So this guy is not a must. He's always going to be in the summon pool. And uh, to be honest, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have the bonus units for this event so if you guys never did anything in the, the tower of zot here's what you're going to be able to get now i don't know if they renewed everything or uh it's i'm pretty sure that all the old school player well old school all old players that played this game before and you did the tower of zot before i'm pretty sure you won't be able to get the rewards or claim some of the rewards but the five star select seven ticket is going to be there so you guys will be able to farm and get that other than that, uh, beginner, you get a rare summon ticket, intermediate, you get magma, uh, rock fragment, which is going to be the currency with the king mog, advanced, you get 300, pro, you get 500, elite, we get 500 lapis, and legendary, we get 5,000 uh, magma rock fragment. Now, uh, I don't think legendary was there when I first started the game, so maybe this is going to be added, so even everybody who did this before, the first time it came around, uh, maybe you're going to be able to do this, but you know what? Correct me down below in the comment section if this was there already, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I remember being elite, but legendary, I remember being added after. But correct me down below if uh, you do know the answer. Other than that, we're going to be able to get, like I said, the 5 star select summon ticket. There's going to be that beautiful guaranteed 5 star special summon ticket. Trick Hat, uh, it's actually a really good TM, so if you guys don't have that TM from Timothy, uh, get that, this is really, really nice. And uh, Lunarian Comprehension, we don't know what it is, but it's right here, right? Uh, other ex event exclusive equipment, you're going to be able to get the Glass Mask, which uh, somehow it's a hat and not a helm. But it looks like a helm, but we're going to go with that. So Defense 35, you're going to be able to get the Diamond Shield Defense and Defense 30, Spirit 25, Boost lightning resistance by 10%, which is nice. 
Uh, Elf's Claw, which is a fist weapon. Attack 79 and ch chance to inflict poison. And this is the gem right here, the Gaia Armor. That's one thing that I really loved and I used a couple of times. Uh, attack 90, it's a hammer. Fire elemental on it, enables machine killer, boost physical damage against machine monsters. So you put that on your physical cover tank. Uh, if you're fighting a machine monster or something and your tank just counters uh, with that extra machine killer, you can do a little bit more damage. And also, when the Still Castle Malfica comes around, you can slap on some HP. And if you're lucky and you get that big level uh, 40, uh, seal of HP, whatever, level 4, uh, you get an extra 40% in HP and that thing is really, really nice. So, what, uh, Koopa, what do you have to say? You can exchange for other items such as 4-star guaranteed tickets, rare summon tickets, and 5-star trust Moogle. All 10%, which is really nice. Uh, obviously that 5-star select 7 ticket is amazing. Uh, Gremlin and Golden Bombs are gonna be the bonus monsters that you can get extra currency so demon killer is going to be effective against those two and here is the list of the bonus characters so uh seven star Golbez is going to be a 300 percent if you have seven star um barbaricia is going to be 200 percent one Golbez is going to be 150 percent regular barbaricia six star 100 percent ruby conte cognacio uh pure some pure kid summoner radio Atoning Dra Dragoon Kane, Dark Knight Cecil is going to be 75% and all these guys right here are going to be 50% so it's going to be easy for you guys to get the currency, uh, all these bonus units and uh, if you guys get uh, this boy right here, well he's really strong in his magic and he does AoE magic so uh, not that bad but let's go over the summon so right here these are going to be the featured characters and obviously if you summon you want this big bad dude right here and let's go over the step up somehow a good step up but at the same time i'm not crazy about it so uh it's going to be 10,000 lapis in total if you guys want to go for a full run go for it uh, especially if gold best is your favorite character i'm always going to tell you to pull for the characters that you want the most and not what we're telling you to pull for but this guy uh, if it's your favorite character and Final Fantasy IV is your favorite game, go for it. So on step 1, 1,000 uh, Lapis, sorry, not 10,000. 1,000 Lapis, 1 Summon, plus a 4-star unit guaranteed. So basically 2 Summons, uh, 1 plus 1. And on step 2, 2,000 Lapis, you get 3 Summons. So basically you get 4 Summons, and one of them is going to be a guaranteed 4-star. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you're getting a 10% Moogle right here, a 5% Moogle right here. Uh, here you're getting 6 units and one of them is going to be a guaranteed four star unit with a two times rate up and a four star guaranteed ticket and on step four for four thousand lapis you get eight summons plus one so basically nine seven one of them is going to be a guaranteed five star so that's not bad for ten thousand lapis you're guaranteed a five star uh it's a random five star but three times rate up so you guys here might get one or two gold best so if you're lucky for ten thousand lapis it's not that crazy, but it's not that bad also. But here's the thing, all right? We're going to finish this, and I'll I'll tell you why maybe you should hang on to that Lapis. So, Black Mage Golbez. Really, really strong magic. Uh, looking on the JP side, uh, on the, uh, the magic damage dealers, he's not on top. Uh, he's not at the bottom, but he's just in the middle because you got some uh, you got the helis uh, from uh, Xenogear. So if you guys want to pull for a strong uh, damage dealer, magic damage dealer, there's Ellie. Uh, there's going to be X death in the future. There's going to be Terra coming in the future. So if you guys want to keep your stuff for really, really strong damage, magic damage dealer, sorry, go for Terra when she comes out because she is beautiful. But this guy is not that bad. So if you guys get him, it's super trust master, gold best armor. It's a heavy armor. Defense 45, magic 100, so flat stat, that's really nice. Boost dark, dark resistance by 50%. Uh, his trust master is also really nice also. Heart, bounded by hatred, boost magic by 40%. And parameters when setting an esper by 20%, so that thing is really, really good. Uh, we're going to go over his featured abilities. Twin Meteor, one use every seven turns. Deal partial unmitigated light damage, magic damage to all enemies. Really, really strong. Uh, Abyssal Quasar deal partial unmitigated dark damage, uh, magic damage to all enemies, and Ruby Conte's power deal fire damage to all enemies and restore HP and MP uh, to, for all allies. If I'm not mistaken, on the JP uh, data mine, this is a 2000 heal 
HP heal to the whole party and 20 MP to the whole party. So this thing is actually not that bad. Uh, he's not a bad unit. Like I said, he's a good unit. But if you guys have some strong magic damage dealers already and you have plenty of bonus units, there is no point uh, to summon for this guy. Just do the dailies and you might be lucky and pull one of them. Now, here's the cool thing. That's why I'm telling you guys to maybe keep your lapis. So right here, we see uh, that's on the JP release thing we're at right here we're on the wiki by the way uh so on july 1st 2018 they released dark mage gold Bez, and the week after intro event and story event right here you guys can see axe star is there so one more week guys maybe one more week and we're gonna get uh that axe star will be announced on friday next week so hopefully crossing my fingers Keep that lapis guys, keep those tickets, just wait one more week and uh, the big boy, big damage dealer is going to come out. For me, I am not going to be pulling for gold best. I might do, I'm going to do my dailies, maybe one or two tickets here and there max, but for the rest I'm keeping everything for this boy, for the Katana Master, Axstar. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video, please leave a like down below, subscribe for more. Let me know if you're excited for Golbez or you're going to keep your stuff for maybe next week Axstar or do you think Axstar is going to be in two weeks. I hopefully, in my heart, I do strongly believe that Axstar will come out next week and uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed as much as possible. Guys, have a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.